I hope you're having a lovely day. I'm just going to wait for more people to join in. Hi, good evening, Dr. Diksha. Um, good evening. All right. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. All right. Uh, so thank you so much, uh, Dr. Diksha, for joining in and uh, doing this live session with us. And uh, good evening and welcome to all. So today's session is going to be on menstrual health and disorders. And Dr. Diksha here is an OBGYN uh, physiotherapist and she specialized in pelvic floor rehabilitation. Uh, so Dr. Diksha, let's start with the questions. And if the audience has more questions, we will take them as and when they come. Definitely. And thank you so much for inviting me. The pleasure is all ours. Um, so first things first, Dr. Viksha, uh, how did you become an OBGYN uh, physiotherapist and also specialize in uh, pelvic floor rehab? Like what led you to it? Actually, when I was in my bachelor, I just, uh, when I was in a library, I just got through a book uh, on OBGYNIC and our role of physiotherapy. So it was something which just, uh, you know, uh, got my interest. So I was like, I have to do something. I have to explore more. I have to uh, reach overseas to study this. So uh, then I just go to uh, outside and just study about the pelvic floor. And that, uh, then the topic, you know, the sex and women's health and physiotherapy, this excites me more. So from that day, I just got my motto of life, being woman, love woman, treat woman, educate woman is my only motto of life. And being a doctor, I just also write a book. I'm also author too. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, so what is your book called, Dr. Pichan? So this is my book. It's all about pregnancy. And my next book, it's all about period, will be available soon, uh, within this month only. That's awesome. Guys, if you want to stay updated with, uh, you know, whatever Deeksha, Dr. Deeksha is up to and when her books release, please do follow her. Uh, we will share her link. Uh, so coming to the main topic of discussion, um, what is menstruation and what does a normal period look like? Okay, so menstruation is something, you know, your uh, this is just like I will explain with the model. So this is your female pelvis and you know, this is your uterus. So basically in this, your whole cycle is going on in this. This is your endometrial wall and this is your vagina from where you shed off your wall. So here we start with the female reproductive cycle. I called it female reproductive cycle because you know, this is not only a menstrual cycle because in this we are having your four phases. Your first phase start with your first day of menstruation. Then your second phase come with the your follicular phase. Then third phase, your basically your ovulation phase, most important one. And the final phase is luteal phase. Then this is the four phase cycle. So, you know, start with this, your menstruation, then it down. Then again, you start again with a one and you will have follicular phase. Means your new egg is forming now. Then again, you come to the peak on ovulation day. But again, the new egg is released. Then again, you come to after luteal phase down. If you are, uh, so this is basically your embryo is getting implanted. Your body is preparing your womb to get implanted. Means your body is preparing for pregnancy. If we don't get pregnant, then the menstruation cycle occurs. So the duration of cycle is basically 28 days. But uh, if the menstruation, uh, like uh, in, uh, as I say, every woman is different and every cycle is different. So it can be varied from 28 to 45 days. So if you are getting uh, your pregnancy, your menstruation after 40 days or 42 days, it is normal, but it is, it should be regular. It should not be like uh, it come like 40 days. Then again, it come like in 20 days and uh, the gap is increasing day by day. So it should be uh, concerned that the gap should be equal. Either it should be 40 days regularly or it, it, it is 28. So uh, menstruation is something, it's a cycle. It's a female reproductive cycle. You start with a zero, ground one. Start with a six days or four days or minimal three days. Uh, besides three days, if you're having two days menstrual cycle, that means you are somewhere in danger. So start with this phase. Then again, you are in again at zero because your you know the uterine wall is shed off. Your hormone is like at peak when you are menstruating, your hormone will fall off. If you are become pregnant, then they, these hormones will peak too high to your nine months to getting uh, your embryo to be pre implanted and then your for your baby birth. If you don't get pregnant, then this phase will fall off. So this is your menstruation. All right. Um, so when does menstruation start? And in today's age, kya ladkiyon ko menstruation bahut jaldi ho raha hai. Like we've known, like I've 
personally seen like in my cousins and all they start their periods at 8 years okay. and 9 years is this very common these days yeah Uh, you know in the, in self studies i have studied in and studies in research data i have seen ki yeah earlier the menstruation date in us as i've seen it is 12 year in india it is a uh, minimal ki 11 year you are like ready for uh, the pregnancy part then in uh, come to sri lanka it's different in spain it's different so it's very according to climate earlier but now as our uh, we got a smartphone we got luxurious lifestyle uh we are full of fast food and we are like our uh, hormones are like at this then at this at morning i am at full i am full happy then at uh, evening i am like a depressed one so this is the our natural cycle ki uh, jo abhi females hai wo basically subah bahut khush rahengi jab uthengi and shaam tak unka kya hai unko bhi nahi pata actually तो इट इज लाइक डिस्ट्रेस वन की अभी मूड स्विंग्स बहुत ज्यादा है क्योंकि आपका जो बेसिकली आपका हार्मोन लेवल बहुत ज्यादा डिस्टर्ब है और उसका रीजन है आपकी लाइफस्टाइल और इसकी वजह से जैसा स्टडीज पाई गई कि 1970s के बाद से फीमेल्स में ऐसा जो गर्ल्स है उनका एज जो है पहले था कि ट्वेल्व टू सेवनटीन वॉज योर पेकुलर एज की इस पे आपको मैंस्ट्रेशन आएगा बट नाउ डेज द एज इज कम फ्रॉम एट टू फिफ्टीन की अभी एट ईयर्स के बाद लाइक like, uh, आप यू कैन गॉट मैंस्ट्रुएशन तो मैंस्ट्रुएशन का बेसिकली ऐसा नहीं है कि मैंस्ट्रुएशन अभी आप बड़े हुए स्टार्ट हो गया इट विल स्टार्ट विथ थ्री फेजेस योर फर्स्ट फेज इज बेसिकली थिलार्ज इन मेडिकल देन सेकेंड इज प्यूबार्ज एंड थर्ड इज मेनार्ज एंड इन कॉमन टर्म योर थिलार्ज इज बेसिकली ब्रेस्ट बर्डिंग योर स्टार्टअप विथ योर ब्रेस्ट बर्डिंग सो यू कैन सी एज आप देख सकते हो कि अभी आजकल सेवन सिक्स ईयर्स लाइक दे आर हैविंग अ ब्रेस्ट दे आर स्टार्टिंग डेवलपिंग दैट चेंजेस इन देर बॉडी and second they are pubes means development of pubes hair this is also earlier then comes the menarche your first phase of menstruation so due to thylarch and menarche is there this is uh, basically because of our environment our pollution our climate changes and uh, basically the stress the seven years girls is full of stress than us <laughs> so this is the reason they are getting much earlier menstruation than us yeah Yeah, and also i think or earlier um, the more studies are going on if it is like we will update it on our social media you can just read absolutely and i think also diet bhi aajkal ka bahut unhealthy ho gaya like yeah fast food is the main reason uh, because they are not uh, they are, for crash diet they are not taking the food or some exactly. some people are like they are overeating so over nutrition is also harmful and malnutrition is too so we need a balanced diet Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. My next question is, what can be the cause for a late period, yeah, to missed period? What if your periods don't come? So, what are the causes for that? Okay, as you already told, now the diet. First one is the diet, because we are not going for a supplemental diet. Ki, uh, we are uh, we lack some. We are we are taking too much calcium, too much magnesium, or too low magnesium, too low calcium, or we are taking too much of your uh, vitamin E. like uh, women i i see in my practice the girls are taking vitamin e supplement without any consultation they are taking vitamin b complex without any com- consultation it doesn't mean if you are having any problem ki you are having same supplemental problem so diet and supplement is uh, is a second condition then third come your lifestyle we, uh, we don't want to do any work if we are in a sitting job like uh, nowadays as due to covid the uh, children are not going out they are just having their online classes at home so they are like i just saw in my cousins they are just lying and just having on laptop so it is like lack of physical activity is the reason then there comes the third part your obesity as you become obese your body is not menstruating properly you are somewhere uh, fatigue too and uh, you are full of depression anxiety so and fourth come is the stress stress is a major factor because due to which you are not getting enough sleep and you know insomnia is there uh, the 12 year children are feeling dealing with insomnia nowadays so this is it ki uh, how come uh, they come uh, they miss their period or late period is there then uh, there comes the part uh, they are uh, just uh, going for crash diet or they are taking antidepressant pill if you are on any medication or any pill, any pill that means you are somewhere more prone to late period or prone period or somewhere you are having pcod sister you know uh, the Sixty-nine to seventy percent women in India now dealing with PCOD and they don't know it. It is is it PCOD or either I am feeling low because of fever or anything. And your final part is you miss period because of pregnancy too. So just go and check with your doctor if you are dealing with any problem. 
Absolutely, and uh, great that you yeah. you brought up PCOD uh, in the uh, picture because today this month is PCOS Awareness Month. So yeah, this is the PCOD month here. Absolutely. So I think people should be at least well aware of what's happening with their body and go to a doctor if something you know if they feel something is wrong. Yeah, just don't deal with it. Like uh, just go, don't Google it. <laughs> just don't deal with your body because you are uh, having your life. Okay, so don't deal with like a toy. Absolutely. Just come to any dog. Go to any dog, specialist. They will help you. That is the biggest problem. People googling their own things. You cannot become a doctor <laughs> diagnosed just by googling. I think that is one. Yeah. Big you know, uh, the things through social media. That doctors are more uh, reachable to us nowadays. Absolutely. So just following your doctors and you know DMing them or just messaging them is enough to you know they yeah. they'll they'll be able to guide you much better than Google. And they will definitely. They will love to. Absolutely. Uh, so my next question is: What are some healthy and good menstrual hygiene practices? Because in India, there are still people who are not following good menstrual hygiene practices. There are still people who don't have access to pads. So, what, according to you, are some good menstrual hygiene practices that every woman should follow? Okay, this is actually a very good question. I just want to talk on it. Uh, you know, there are a number of things. Not only the napkin, sanitary napkins is not only the option. You can just go for menstrual cup. You can go for recycle pad. Okay, you know uh, the cloth pad is also available. You can just go for them, or you can just uh, just uh, avoid tampons. You know because uh, it is uh, like uh, uh, no, it is harmful in many ways than useful. so just avoid the use of tampons just go for your menstrual cup is the best part if you are not able to do it you normal to insert it then just go for the reusable pad or you can just go for the reusable pads for menstrual cycle they are in available in market and if you are dealing with any sort of like financial economy is not there then up normally reusable pad once you reach it and you can use it for 18 month ओके okay. और आप सबसे बेस्ट पार्ट उसमें है कि आप उसको नॉर्मल एंटीसेप्टिक सॉल्यूशन से यूज करके आप उसको रियूज कर सकते हैं तो उसमें आपको फोर पेट्स रहते हैं तो आप उसको रेगुलरली आप यूज करो और सेकेंडरी इफ यू आर यूजिंग फॉर नेपकिस की अभी अवेलेबल नहीं है नियर एरिया देन जस्ट गो फॉर की आप उसको प्रॉपर रियूज करने के बाद रियूज ना करें सॉरी उसको डिस्पोज करें उसको फोर टू फाइव आर में आपको चेंज करना ही है और आई नो इट इज सो कॉस्टली कि आप कुछ भी ले रहे हो और आप उसको डिस्पोज करने के लिए ले रहे हो तो जस्ट गो फॉर मेस्ट्रल कप माई सजेशन इज जस्ट गो फॉर मेस्ट्रल कप एंड सेकेंड सजेशन इज अबाउट योर बेजाइना यू नो दिस पार्ट दिस इज योर जस्ट बेसिकली योर बेजाइना सो जस्ट वेजाइनल वॉश इज देयर जस्ट बट आई नो ना द फीमेल्स आर यूजिंग नाउट इज अ परफ्यूम सोप एंड जेल्स आर देयर they are using it without any consultation so just don't use them because you know your vagina is a self cleansing organ it can cleanse themself only so just you can go for normal mild water you can use for the to maintaining the ph you can just go from anterior to posterior aage se piche ki taraf le jaye but piche se aage ki taraf aapko nahi lana hai ye aapko yaad rakhna hai because this is you know from front to back you have to go not from back to front whenever you are using water whatever if you are menstruating or not but don't go from back to front so aapko aapke vagina to anus tak jana hai but anus to vagina kabhi bhi nahi return hona hai and uske alawa aap self cleansing hai wo khud hi saaf kar lega aapko usme mehnat nahi karni hai aapka jo third most important part hai perfumes jitna zyada ho sake kam use kare don't go for perfumes if you are using it then just go for a cloth perfume ki aapne cloth pe use kare don't uh, go directly with your body because you know these perfumes can cause a number of hormonal changes are there as a woman you already dealing with hormonal changes your hormones are sometimes rising suppressing and sometimes stable so just don't disturb them more so avoid perfume as much as possible ha bahut zaruri then go for it ki abhi karna hi hai then go for ki karna hi hai then to kuch kar hi nahi sakte but uh, as much as possible just stay away from the perfume things uh, either it is soap or your deodorant whatever it is or you want to do na then just go on your cloth don't go on your body direct and uh, uh, especially your uh, undergarments just change your undergarment as much as possible within 4 month not more than 4 month or maximum to 6 month because you know undergarment is something which is directly dealing with your body uh, like uh, your oil, your oils is there theek okay? hai your odor is there your your sweating is there so don't just don't go for it directly 
and third part is like you know uh, shaving i just uh, in my practice i used to deal with ki uh, the girls are nowadays uh, shaving their uh, yeah, their their pubic hair as their and their armpit hairs so just uh, shave them you know uh, shaving is something hormonal imbalance is again there so uh, if you want to go for just uh, you know some clinics are there they are going for vaginal wash and vaginal cleaning is there you can just contact there just don't go for home cleaning and all because you know uh, i know ki this is something ki uh, nowadays girls are like uh, they just want to be look beautiful charming but uh, it is something which is disbalancing your hormone so just avoid it completely there were some great points over there especially the the direction of washing always from the vagina towards the anus and not towards the anus vagina it's something yeah. that's extremely important and i like that you even touch base on changing the underwear once 3 to 4 months because people you know don't do that don't even think about it um and, and you know yeah. the bra part is uh, most important because nowadays girls are getting period at the early age so the chances of getting a, their uh, their breast cancer is more so just go for proper bra if you are not uh, uh, getting proper bra aapko nahi aata hai lena just take to help of your mother बहुत सारे चैनल्स हैं जो हेल्प करते हैं कि आप कैसे ब्रा खरीद सकते हो इफ अगर तब भी नहीं आता है जस्ट गो फॉर स्पोर्ट्स ब्रा आप कुछ भी मत लो फिर उस केस में क्योंकि क्या है आप कहीं ना कहीं खुद को डैमेज कर रहे हो ठीक है बट ब्रा पे आपको बहुत ध्यान देना कंसेंट्रेट एंड अंडर गार्मेंट्स बहुत लूज नहीं होना चाहिए बहुत टाइट भी नहीं होना चाहिए ठीक है एंड टिल एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन जस्ट अवॉइड पुशअप ब्रा ठीक है वो नहीं लेना है उसके बाद आप यूज करो बिकॉज यू आर समेयर यू कैन डील विद इट but uh, till 21 i think you are not mature enough to deal with it absolutely uh, i mean those were also some great points and i also like that you touched base on sustainable period ki menstrual cups use kare aur reusable cloth pads available hai use use kare uh, so doctor uh, menstrual cups uh, do you have some good recommendations of brands available in india kyunki maine dekha hai ki uh, i have personally tried and kuch bahut soft hai kuch thode aur hard hai to kis you can just you know pn safe is great i myself use for pee and safe and this is great yeah either it's menstrual cup or you know pair pad if you are just, you know the best part of menstrual cup is this ki uh, you can just go for swimming <laughs> you can just yeah. go for uh, the part you don't have to uh, look shy you don't have to be in corner because you are having you are menstruating you can just do whatever you want to do but uh, the thing with menstrual cup is you you should learn ki how to insert it yeah. because you know your body is like in this way your body is aligned so you have to just put it in this way only yeah you don't have to just uh, leave it on a straight because you are going to hurt your soft muscles or tissues so if you don't know it just go for reusable pads are there or pens are there you can just use them or either you can just go to any doctor or specialist you can just learn they will teach you how to insert it absolutely inserting the right way is important because when are there can be chances of leaks yeah you have not put it properly and all of that yeah you can just uh, just hurt your vagina which is very soft part you know absolutely absolutely um so my next question is about pms so what exactly is pms and when does it occur i know a lot of women go through it but um, we would like you know your guidance on telling us that what exactly is a pms and why does it occur okay pms uh, i will talk on both terms on medical and in layman language so on medical term pms is something you know no premenstrual syndrome is a full form and premenstrual syndrome means as the name suggests premenstrual matlab menstruation ke pehle aapko kuch jo symptoms aayenge aur wo symptoms aapko a week two days one day before aa sakta hai aur ab kuch logo aisa bolte hai aisa study mein paya gaya ki 20 days before bhi pms aapko feel hota hai aur usme jo aapke symptoms basic rahenge wo rahega aapka depression anxiety mood swings sleep disorder basically insomnia is there and uh, the chances of like uh, but uh, the woman is vomiting diarrhea chances is more there chances of if you are having any allergy like a skin allergy is there you will feel more more allergy when on pms and chances of infection in some cases we have seen eye infection is also there in uh, related to pms the uh, lady complains ki i'm just uh, irritation is there so and it will subside as she gone through her menstruation so pms is something you are have uh, you are having problem but it will subside as your menstruation start so uh, these are the problem started with your luteal phase and just end up with your menstrual phase so uh, pms in medical term what we call ki uh, there's a hormone called serotonin which will uh, regulate your mood your sleep so you know serotonin is a good hormone 
for body if you are like not having enough uh, your half way ovulation is there you are not full ovulation is not there you are uh, ovulating before or after that mean your uh, hormone aldosterone and androstrone and progesterone will fall off that mean these falling will cause low level of serotonin is there due to this this there is low level of your sleep your insomnia means your pms is there because of serotonin so if you go for physical activity the feel good hormone endorphin is more there so if endorphin is more there that mean you will be, you will feel more good so my suggestion is uh, just lifestyle is the only key just work on your lifestyle start doing exercise right now if you don't go for any exercise you don't get time just start walking walking is the ultimate exercise so whenever you if you are like having a week before then start with a week before with a exercise you can just go for walk you can go for treadmill you can go for cycling you can go for normal surya namaskar salutation is also good matlab uh, your body should move you should leave your chair and just move so this is the only ultimate solution to your pms absolutely i think the answer to that is move your bodies and you will feel better so my next question is uh, what are some of the disorders related to menstruation because aajkal isme bhi bahut dekh rahe hain ki kisi ke periods normal hi nahi hai kuch na kuch problems hai so what are the common Haan, after covid there is more <laughs> yeah okay so first we'll start with amenorrhea in normal term we call it your missed period from a longer duration uh, this can be primary and secondary in primary uh, you are basically uh, missing your period uh, but basically uh, you uh, don't have period at all means ki aapko kabhi periods hua hi nahi hai then it's primary amenorrhea in secondary amenorrhea aapke ghar mein koi shaadi hai kuch aisa function hai aur due to exam aapko stress ki wajah se aap bahut khushi ki wajah se aapko periods hi nahi ho rahe aap bahut din se soye nahi hai kyunki ठीक है ये आपका आपका सेकेंडरी अमेनोरिया में आ जाएगा तो प्राइमरी अमेनोरिया मीन्स समथिंग आपको टर्नर सिंड्रोम है या आपको क्लॉडी सिंड्रोम है बेसिकली किसी सिंड्रोम की वजह से आपको यूट्रस है ही नहीं तो इस केस में वो फीमेल को या आप यूनक है बेसिकली इस केस में आपको कभी मैंस्ट्रेशन हुआ ही नहीं है तो आप प्राइमरी अमेनोरिया को सेकेंडरी मीन्स आपको एक फेज तक मैंस्ट्रेशन हुआ है बट अभी ड्यू टू योर ऑफिस योर स्कूल योर personal problem you are not getting uh, your menstruation that means you are second, dealing with the secondary amenorrhea aur wo aapko pills ki wajah se ho sakta hai kisi tarah ki fever ki wajah se ho sakta hai nutrition lifestyle kuch bhi reason ho sakta hai then you are having secondary then come to uh, second your uh, first is your amenorrhea second is your dysamenorrhea dysamenorrhea aapne dekha hoga kuch uh, aise girls hoti hai wo bolti hai ki uh, jab mujhko periods aata hai to uh, itna bhayanak pain hota hai ki main मूव भी नहीं कर सकते आई कॉन्ट इवन मूव डाउन टिल थ्री डेज तो इसको डेसामेनोरिया बोलेंगे आप फीलिंग लाइक क्रेम और क्रेम लाइक पेन उनके पेट में पूरा ऐसा वो बोलते हैं कि ऐसा मरोड़ उठता है एंड वो बिल्कुल भी मूव नहीं कर सकते और कई बार को कुछ विमेंस बेहोश भी हो जाती है कि वो या डिहाइड्रेशन भी होता है एक रीजन ये भी है तो ये दिस इज योर डिसमेनोरिया दिस इज ऑल्सो प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी प्राइमरी मीन्स की आपको हमेशा से प्रॉब्लम है सेकेंडरी आपको अभी नया नया आपको स्ट्रेस की वजह से डेवलप होता है then come your pms as we already discussed pms is something related to your hormones uh, either it is too high or too low then it is a premenstrual syndrome then fourth is your leukorrhea leukorrhea is your uh, you know sometime you see uh, the girls complain of white discharge or yellowish discharge uh, but uh, before or after menstruation not during menstruation in between menstruation somewhat they are having your yellow discharge is there which will uh, you know that fall order is there so it is like uh, you have to see your doctor if you are feeling so if you are having normal white discharge that mean ki you don't have to deal with it but if you are having any kind of like yellowish discharge is there you have to just uh, seek your doctor soon then there comes the menorrhagia menorrhagia is basically your heavy bleeding some women complain of or the uh, causes can be endometriosis means your vagina uh, your uh, like menstruation is like falling off the lady have to change four to six Pets are more than this in a day, in a, a cycle. So that means you have you are dealing with menorrhagia somewhere. Then there come the menometrogia. Menometrogia is something you are bleeding outside your uterus. The, the lady is complaining of bloating. You know uh, the lady is complaining that there is something like he, she is bleeding like he, more pain is there. I can't just deal with it. I have to die. So this is menometrogia. Means you are spotting between your uh, vagina. You are just spotting. and uh, no menstruation is there only spotting and then there comes a the normal phase so this is your menometrogia 
and these all are like your amenorrhea dysmenorrhea the pms your lycorrhea menometrogia and metrogia these are like you have to go and see your doctor your gynec so as much as possible absolutely but in layman's term what are these common symptoms jaise aapne bola like uh, spotting and what mm. are things like uh, if you can name five six at least that uh, you know girls and women should keep in mind ki agar meko ye symptoms ho rahe hain meko definitely doctor ke paas jana hai pediatrics ke time okay okay when it comes to menstruation sabse pehle if your cycle is more than 7 days aapko 7 din se zyada agar menstruation ho raha hai just see your doctor immediately agar 2 din se kam ho raha hai ya 2 din tak ho raha hai और ऐसा लगातार थ्री टू फोर साइकिल में आपने नोट किया है जस्ट सिंपली गो विद योर डॉक्टर देन देर कम्स द येलो इश पार्ट कि मैंने बोला कि वेजनल डिस्चार्ज एक येलो हो रहा है नॉर्मल व्हाइट ना हो कि अगर येलो इश है या डार्क ग्रीन है या लाइट ग्रीन भी है देन जस्ट गो फॉर योर डॉक्टर देन ब्लोटिंग पार्ट की आपको पेट में एक मरोड़ उठ रही है और वो जनरली जो मरोड़ है आपको ब्लोटिंग यहाँ पे हो रही है इसके जस्ट आपकी एक नॉर्मल बोन होगी उसके जस्ट ऊपर टू फिंगर ऊपर आपको पेट पे जो आपका अम्बलाइकस रहेगा मीन्स हिंदी में नाभी बोलते हैं नाभी के जस्ट नीचे आपको अगर प्रॉब्लम है दैट मीन कहीं ना कहीं जस्ट सीख बिथ योर गायने की वाई एम हैविंग दिस ब्लोटिंग Yeah, yeah, I, I can hear you. Just tell me. The best ways of managing period cramps and uh, you know pain during menstruation. Okay, just start with the rest. First, if you don't know anything, just go for the rest. And second, keep your leg elevated. Means when you are lying, now, आप जब लेटे हो पैर को उठा के रखो, 
either you can use a stool or you can just use four to five pillows and just start with normal start with your hand with your this part your abdomen part and just start with normal breathing through nose and your abdomen will come out and breathe out through mouth so start with your abdominal movement normal when you are lying and second just go for your abdominal massage what you have to do just like this is your your abdomen just go with your like you have to just stretch out and just move your abdomen means uh, around your umbilicus you have to just massage your abdomen or you can just go for heating pad in normal or you, you can just uh, the my best stress my best trick is just go for castor oil pack just use the normal uh, you can get whatever castor oil is there uh, you can go for any brand just just heat it up and just uh, with the help of cloth pad you can just wrap around your abdomen and just wrap the cotton soft cotton cloth and when you know uh, the castor oil pack just work like a miracle you can just go for contrast sit spas contrast sit spas you know in general you can just go for two tub ek mein aap thanda pani lo ek mein garam lo so in 3 minutes aap is thande pani mein baitho then 3 minutes aap is garam pani mein then just start reducing the time or till 15 minute you have to continue the same so contrast sit spas work the best when it is menstruation pain or cramp is there or you can just go for uh, take the warm wear bridges aap kuch garam piye theek hai but don't go for caffeine you can just take the hot water soup is there and uh, the best part just go for uh, some like uh, uh, you can just go for you know i said uh, the exercise this uh, a week before you can start with the exercise and then the girls uh, to ask me ki what sort of exercise we can go so exercise just like uh, i as i say just start with some movement it is uh, the even the walk is the best because uh, from nothing if something is there na this is best so st- if you don't know anything just go for the exercise and if you seek more exercise you can just find it on it is on my channel my youtube channel is there i just put some exercise or menstruation your cram your pcod exercise are also there you can just go and find there uh, with the name dr diksha singh home nalvi absolutely guys do check out her youtube page and i'm sure you will benefit from watching her videos especially related to you know menstruation and to uh, prevent your cramps i think somebody asked how to make castor oil pack and what is the benefit um the benefit is for menstrual cra- uh, cramps and uh, yeah the i think uh, dr diksha has already explained how to make it you can just uh, look at the video once we save this on ittv uh, she has another question how to reduce belly fat after c section do you have any tips for okay. that definitely i am having just uh, go for uh, start with if you are having c section just start with your uh, your so uh, your that incision mark is there just start with your that incision uh, massage okay you have to just lift that incision just move it move it theek okay? hai you uh, do it regularly and start with when you are uh, done with 42 days of rest just start with normal avoid crunches you don't have to go for this movement beside this movement you can start with walk you can go for abdominal breathing you can just go for a bit abdominal breathing and you can uh, go for your uh, breathing it means you have to just aside your pelvis part up and down and for further as i have see as i as i have say just go for my channel i have already put some exercise on there you can just find the video which is more useful because it is not possible to show everything on this part but you can just find every exercise video on uh, my page and if you find more difficulty you can just go for this book this book contain everything <laughs> Absolutely. and if you you like uh, you uh, just want to uh, get uh, you are not fertile your the infertility part is also covered wow that's awesome that's because awesome. it's all about pregnancy <laughs> right from like pre pregnancy to i think post and you know reducing the yeah yeah your breastfeeding part is also covered what you have to eat what you don't have to avoid it will be really helpful especially for first time mothers and you know people who are very anxious yeah. anxious about it so uh, guys do check out her book uh, we have another question uh, somebody say k hey, diksha uh, do throw few pointers on usage of period pills and contraceptives that are affecting the menstrual cycle okay uh, if you are asking for period pills so uh, i must say there is no pill till made for periods people are taking it okay girls are taking it uh, i as i say on google doctor okay they are just uh, 
स्प्रेडिंग दिस लाइक कि एक ने एक से कहा एक ने दूसरे से कहा यू यू कैन जब मुझको था तो मैंने ये लिया देन यू कैन जस्ट गो फॉर इट तो सिंपली डोंट गो फॉर एनी थिंग इफ यू आर हैविंग एनी प्रॉब्लम जस्ट गो विद स्पेशलिस्ट कंसल्टेशन दे विल हेल्प यू इफ वी नीड एनी लाइक एनी हॉर्मोन आज देयर विल डील विथ योर हॉर्मोन डायरेक्टली बाई टू जस्ट कंपेल योर बॉडी फॉर दैट एंड सेकेंड योर कॉन्ट्रोसेप्टिव इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी की लाइक men are using contraceptive but women are also having one like uh, vaginal condom are also there you can just go for it and simply if you want uh, you can just go for if you are uh, having child already having child just go for a uh, temporary uh, like a uh, uh, temporary contraceptions are there through surgical part this is best for you will work for you and uh, like uh, copper tea is, i don't recommend it because you know in some cases it is not beneficial but just go for a condom part is a best for if you would know how to use it absolutely absolutely because i know a lot of people are simply popping pills without even any doctor's uh, consultation or recommendation which is not good for you guys um okay uh, guys if you have any more questions please do put them here shweta is saying hi shweta all right uh, my um, final question is uh, do you have any message for all the women out there and where can people uh, you know get in touch with you for a consultation yeah uh, please do tell us your youtube handle your instagram handle and where people can get in touch. okay i will tell my message in the last i'll just start with i as i already told about this book ki it's all about pregnancy and my second book you know the women's uh, it is uh, launching soon in within uh, before 22 september it is launching on uh, kindle we are launching it first on kindle and uh, it is its name is it's all about periods by dr diksha singh and the you know the best part about the book is ki wo sirf 99 rupees ka hoga on 99 rupees only because abhi uh, jo main wo book ka jo purpose hai wo hai ki har lad, jitni bhi ladki hai usko khareed sake jitne bhi the girls among us should purchase it and uh, without any uh, economic issue ki abhi lena hai to lena hai because uh, the book cover uh, it's all about period cover your disorder part your lifestyle part it also having your complementary diet plan for all the phases you are dealing with and all uh, having treatment tips the basic tip if you are not uh, like you are living in an area where you can't deal, uh, go with a doctor you are not your family is not open up about the gynec at your uh, teenage just uh, search for my book and even my contact are also there you can just find me on www.hormonalwings.com my website theek okay? hai or you can just find me on my youtube dr diksha singh hormonal wing and uh, my three igs are there first dr diksha singh hormonal wing second period uh, pelvic floor rehab specialist dr diksha singh and third is period encyclopedia dr diksha singh you can find me on these three on my website hormonal wing or you can just find me or you can just uh, normal go for amazon and just write the book name it's all about pregnancy by dr diksha singh you can find me my book there and all my details are already in the book or it's all about period you know that this is the book my dream book it is launching soon and it is my gift to every woman every girl and their child because you know as a woman i as when i was a teacher a teenager i just uh, seek for such book which is come under 100 rupees so that i can purchase it i can just have it in my pocket whenever my child or me is having some issues like uh, i am having leukaria i am having dysmenorrhea amenorrhea you don't have to see for any doctor directly just go for this book if you you are beyond this problem just come to us simply you don't have to bother us for a normal problem because um, like leukaria amenorrhea problem you are missing period then the treatment is also inside the book you can just find it because the name suggests it's all about periods and it is under 99 rupees only Absolutely. so this is the um first thing i want to say and second you can find me on www.hormonalwings.com and my message to all women so i'll start with the teenager girl okay just don't go for any crest diet avoid crest diet you are beautiful whatever the shape and size you are second here comes the 25 age you are already beautiful you are already gorgeous just go for your studies go for your career build up your career don't be dependent on anyone so that one you can say i'm not dependent on anyone i'm dependent on my myself i am a self made person third thing when you are 30 just start preparing for your you know the pregnancy part start seeking for a motherhood because this is the phase you can just take a leap from your career 
take a leave for at least for two to three year when you are uh, having a child because you know the motherhood time is more important you're going to miss it if you are going to just ignore it so just go for motherhood after 30 or you can just uh, before 30 you can plan to and then after 30 35 just go for your career seek for a career to your top high because you already have a child you are already having a family just go for your career now then you are 40 just start seeking for your now your uh, physical activity start seeking for you have to look sexy you have to look cute you have to look beautiful at this age because your hormones are already going to subside after 10 years then come the 50 you are already through menopause just start dealing with it start seeing some specialist doctor to deal how to deal with that uh, menopause part then comes the 60 you uh, now you are having time you are already on your career half theek hai ki aapne apna career bana liya you are having family just go for some supplement go for some friends some outing abhi is time pe just go this is your self time so start uh, dealing with your your uh, giving your knowledge to your elder one then comes the part of 80 you know at the 80 you have to write more and more books i'm not saying you are a doctor whatever you are just write a book write a note at least a day because you know you don't know ki uh, they, how uh, how much is going inside your mind so when you are starting writing the stress is already subside and uh, my common message to all age group cut caffeine don't take the caffeine don't take stress sleep 8 hours per day read as much as possible study more and if you are not good in studies just go for some skills because every woman or men are born with skill just go for some skill okay and uh, like uh, as i said ki if i am a doctor just seek for some doctor just don't be a google doctor if you are teacher i will come to you for my child if i am a doctor just come to me for your body <laughs> okay so this is my message and uh, as i already say being woman love woman treat woman educate woman is my only motto of life absolutely i think that was some of the best advice we've ever gotten you've covered the entire lifespan of a woman and i can't tell you how inspirational you are um, not just because you're a doctor you're writing books and that too books that can be accessible to all and uh, you know i'm I... writing book uh, during covid i started writing my book because you know one day i don't know when i'm going to die i don't know but before dying i just want to gift many things to women as much as possible because i can't reach every woman but my book can reach my book uh, you know my consultation fees is so high but you can buy my book <laughs> at a low nominal price because it is under my will but i can't just change the consultation and time because the time is important i can't change the time i can't give my all time to every woman but ha huh, yes i can write a book i can write an article you can just read them and you can just uh, as much as possible i want to write i want to help women as much as possible because you know main yahan tak pahunchi because bahut sare women mere piche hai to main chahti hu bahut sare women mere aage pahunche taki main piche padi ho saku absolutely and uh, being a woman just trying to help other women don't try to step them down unko haath pakad ke upar lana hai aur niche nahi chhodna hai Absolutely. I mean, only if women support women can the society progress. Yeah. Uh, a beautiful end to this live session, uh, guys. We're going to be saving this on IGTV, and we will also share this on our website, Girls Buzz, Girls Talk Buzz, and you can find all the links to Dr. Disha's website as well as her YouTube and Instagram over there, and you can get in touch with her. Dr. Disha, thank you so much for being so inspirational and taking out your time in doing this. Live and thank session. you so much for inviting me. And even you know, I just uh, said yes to you because I just like the name Girls Buzz India. <laughs> this name is the reason ki you just asked me once for a uh, that video i just said once yes without any hesitation i don't know anything about that time about the girls watch but the name is something you know this is like uh, my website name is hormonal wing this is something uh, you can uh, just uh, have in your mind ki this is something related to women so girls watch india is something related to women so i just like uh, i have to go for it i have to just seek some time <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm sure our entire team will be happy that you like our name and you could, uh, you know, connect with us. Uh, Actually, so... I just love your name. I'm just <laughs> going to just stole it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you dr diksha uh, for joining with us and uh, also thank you all the audience who's come uh, you know and taken out their time for this live session and uh, we will see you again soon thank you so much bye bye thank you bye bye